recording um because i will post that later um so hey welcome to your first day of second semester um this is uh visual arts honors proficient um and that's extremely uh in, extremely um important because you guys have really worked your way through through all the art classes um i'm going to take my mask off since no one's in here um uh uh, that way, those of you at home can see me. Pretty much everybody on the roll. I'm looking at the roll right now. I have taught everybody on the roll. Um, therefore, I'm going to stalk you if you do not start, uh, you know, zooming in live when this class is going on. Um, so we'll talk about that. I know each and every one of you, and I think I have multiple ways of getting um, in touch of you, in, in touch with you. So. Um, I certainly don't want you guys disappointing me this semester. Uh, let's jump right in and talk about how things work in this class. Um, everybody should in their canvas see um, the visual arts uh, proficient. Um, you, everybody should have this page. It should start looking familiar to you. We all of your teachers should have this, uh, this page. It should be the page that pops up every day. Um, it also has the Zoom link. It's here every, anytime you want to get on the Zoom link, get on the Zoom link. Um, even in the middle of the day, if you have a question and I, you know, have another class going on, it's still the Zoom link. So you can always just, you know, Zoom in and ask me a question. Also, you will see if you click on announcements, you should have already gotten an announcement from me today. Email, does it, does it let you know, did they email you to let you know that there was an announcement? Okay. So today, here's your first announcement. Every day you will get an announcement from me. Um, and that's gonna be one way that I can um, uh, do some attendance for those in my- Current interruption for an important announcement. Students, if you have Miss Staten on your schedule and it says room 40 something, her room number is 103, that's a misprint. Any student with this teacher name is Staten, her, your classroom number is 103. Thank you guys. So um, as you can tell, it says here in your first announcement, announcement. so every day you're gonna have an announcement from me. So, and it's gonna have your uh, sketchbook assignment in it. Every day it's gonna have your sketchbook assignment in it and it might tell you some other things to, uh, today. Um, you know, obviously I'm very excited to have you in my class. We're gonna make some really cool projects this semester. I have um, attached both the syllabi for the face-to-face -face people and for the virtual people. So if you click on this where it says visual arts honors proficient, um, you will see these two links right here, which are your syllabus. I'll go over those in one second, um, but uh, I'm just gonna talk about how things work uh, here in this class. Let me check and see if anybody's trying to get in. Doesn't look like anybody's trying to get in. Um, Okay, um, also I post our, uh, our, our feeds every day. So every day they will also be in the announcement section. So every day in your announcement section, you're gonna see your sketch assignment and you're gonna see later by four o'clock, you're gonna see the Zoom um, for today or for each day. Okay, so how assignments work for you um, if you are face-to-face? -face? You're gonna complete your art assignments in school during our time, which is fabulous because, you know, that's, how we all want to eventually be back to. Um, you're going to take a picture of your finished artwork and you will always submit the picture through Canvas. Um, so and we'll get into where your assignments are and sketches and stuff. Um, those of you that are face-to-face, -face, your art can be taken home and finished if not completed in class. Those of you that are face-to-face -face can take anything in this room that you may want to take home, you know, for the B weeks. I mean, excuse me, for the opposite week that you're not here to continue being creative. Um, how assignments work for online only students. I'm gonna post the assignments in the modules. It, it works for face-to-face -to -face too. You're gonna still, everybody still uses the modules and the assignment due dates. I can't personally take up any artwork that you've made. Um, you know, it's just trying to keep everything as COVID clear as, you know, touching stuff. Um, so those of you, uh, that are online, you're gonna every day, you're gonna check your announcement, see what your sketch assignment is. 
You're gonna see what your assignment we're working on. You will watch the slideshows. You will watch the Zoom presentations. I do a presentation every day if, if I'm introducing something new. Um, you're gonna create the artwork as best you can with the supplies available to you. However, you are in a very, very advanced art class. You have finished foundations. You have finished intermediate. You might've taken intermediate over again. Um, this is basically like an art three, art four level class. So you should have a sketchbook. You should be this passionate. I look on this, this paper and I see these names and everybody on this class, uh, I know uh, you probably already have a sketchbook. You guys are all very talented. Um, and I know that you're very passionate about this class. So I'm not worried about you not having some supplies. Um, you know, hopefully you've got enough at home, those of you that are just strictly virtual or hopefully, you know, can go out and, you know, now's a great time. Things are always on sales, you know, um, at different places. So you're going to create your artwork as best you can with the supplies available to you. You are also going to take a picture of your art. You're also going to submit that um, through Canvas. And then obviously I grade um, your artwork. So how attendance works for online and face-to-face on off weeks. So I'm going to post an announcement, like I told you, um, at 9 a.m. every day, and you're going to reply to that announcement, however it is. It might be you need to draw something and upload it. You know, it might be I have a question for you, but you have to reply to the announcement. It might be some sort of discussion question. This is how you get your attendance credit for when you are those of you who are face-to-face -face when you're not in the classroom, and those of you that are strictly virtual. Obviously, you can email me anytime. Um, I will put my, uh, I will add my um, Instagram. I will add uh, any, any different various ways that you can contact me. Um, so there's a little bit about that. Um, and then the same is for your syllabus. The syllabus differ a little bit. So for my face-to-face -face people, obviously in, oh, there's a typo right there, that should say um, honors advanced, um, here, well, let me, um, well, let me edit it while I'm here. Um, this should say uh, visual arts honors proficient. Anyway, I'll fix that in a minute. You're going to push your creative limits using advanced art making techniques. You're advanced artists. I just said that. You are advanced artist you are um let me just make sure real quick that i'm in no i have the same zoom link okay you're advanced artist you like i said you have had foundations you have had proficient you may um had intermediate you may have already had three art classes so you um are pretty much developing your style your design um your you know, you might be strictly into painting on canvases. You might be strictly into collaging. You know, you're going to be more um, developing your own art techniques and styles. Um, here again, this is for my face-to-face -face people. Um, I, every day after you leave and after people before you leave, um, I sanitize desks. I sanitize things that you use in this classroom. Um, your main goal is to give 100% on every project. Um, these are just some basic rules for in-class people. Obviously, we clean up, we wear a mask, um, you're going to work at your own seat, you know, we can't, like, it's a sad world now, all of you that are in this class, you've been in this classroom before, and we normally had big tables, and we all sat together, and now we have little desks like you have in other people, other classes. So, um, that's something that has changed virtually. Um, grading, everything will be submitted through Canvas. It's just like how things have always been. You have a project grade, you have sketchbook grade, and you have something that says daily work quiz grade. So that will be your attendance stuff. Um, and you know, we don't have quizzes in here, but it'll be the daily stuff that I ask you to do that's not your sketchbook and not your, your major project. Also, one thing to know, we are in an advanced art class. So we're not doing itty bitty projects every day. You're gonna be working on something for a while. It should take you a week or more. Do you understand that? If we were in class together as a whole, no COVID, you would be self-paced. 
you would be working, I would be helping you, you would be doing your research, you know, this, this is not every day, you know, we start a brand new project. So you need to remember, you have a daily, uh, those of you that are straight virtual, you have a daily assignment. Um, or those of you that are not here on that particular week, you have a daily assignment, you have a large project, and then you have your sketchbook assignments that are graded every Friday. All right, same same drill. This should not be new to anybody because you guys are not new to me. You know how things roll in here. Um, and also, I know it seems like I'm fussing at everybody and nobody's in out there, but hopefully you watch this video. Also, I know how talented you all are. Um, in fact, I just got a text from somebody that says, when does school start back? Mm, today, today it started. Um, I know how each and every one of you, how talented you are. So I don't wanna see some chicken scratch. I don't wanna see some stuff I saw when you were a freshman in foundations. All right, this is serious art. You have to be self-paced, self-driven. And it's an honors class. Speaking of which, let's read what um, it says in the uh, handbook, uh, in the course registration about this class, um, about the class that you're in, because I don't think you realize the level. Did I? Hopefully this is the one. Yeah. Okay. Visual right here at the top. Visual arts proficient honors. Honors. You have already taken intermediate you or you have been advanced placed into this class in this class you're going to expand your technique your vocabulary you're going to develop independent problem solving that means what your project how you uh, are working on your project is your independent way so you know someone else in the class is their thing is going to look totally different like i said you might be into painting you might be into printmaking you might be just strictly into drawing you might be strictly into animation you might do this all digitally you are self discovering your way of doing art so that's one major part of this class um no 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 no, no. yeah developing independent problem solving you will demonstrate a deeper understanding of art history, current trends. Um, you are going to, this might differ a little bit because obviously we're in COVID and this was written before COVID. Um, it, in this, it says, you know, expected to attend and critique at least one exhibition. We'll do that. We'll do it virtually though. Um, uh, so, you know, this, you, you are a serious artist. You're a serious artist. And um, so I just wanted to just very quickly read that to you, just so you know. Um, required materials, that varies. I, I need everybody to have a sketchbook, um, a big one preferably, or a big drawing pad or something, because you are making major work, all right? No notebook paper, unless you're doing like some sort of collage, you need notebook paper. I need everybody to go get a sketchbook, hopefully a larger one. Um, whatever materials you know hopefully you have at home scissors and tape and and markers or you might need to go out and get some watercolor um this is going to be a little bit more self-driven um oh yeah and then when i grade your stuff i'm always you know basing your grades on how your craftsmanship how how well you've you know completed this how creative your effort that goes back to I know your talent if you're kind of I'm gonna say it if you're kind of half-assing uh you know just doing it really quick just to get it done I already I know that because I've known y'all for years and I know your artwork that goes to into effort growth and progress are you pushing yourself are you pushing your you know if you've been acrylic painting this whole time maybe you want to get into oil painting um you know so are you pushing yourself and then obviously following directions. If you're not uploading your projects, obviously a big old zero. Um, late work, I don't, you know me, I don't really have deadlines, okay? But the major deadline is the end of the six weeks. Okay, so there's not an end date for these projects, but um, if I see, if you're not giving me some images of it, you know, it's sort of like as you're in the middle of it, if you're not giving me some progressive images, you know, I'm gonna start dropping points, dropping points. Um, you should be able to work on, you know, a couple of projects at the same time. Um, 
I'm not going to go into all of this classroom procedures because here again, I'm, I'm working with upperclassmen and I'm also working with people that already know me. So I'm not going to read into that. Uh, anytime you are at home, my virtual people and my face to face that are on the off week, you um, are required to log into Canvas every day. Um, you need to respond to my daily announcement by 3 p.m. Um, it actually, I think, don't your teachers end at like midnight, maybe? Yeah, actually, that should be midnight. Um, uh, and then um, I'll change that. Um, and then, you know, all you're doing is being creative. So this should not be be hard for anyone. Um, I want to go ahead and get out of all of that hoo-ha. Um, and more importantly, I want to talk about your first project. Um, here again, I'm going to show you an example. I've actually been working on this project also. Um, so like I said, your grades are going to come from your projects, your daily work, and your sketchbook. So you already have a uh, your first project. It says due um, January 15th. Uh, that means by January 15th, which is a couple of weeks from now, that means you either should be finished with it or you should be showing me like you're almost finished with it. I don't close these shells out. So you have up until the six weeks ends to submit it. But January 15th, you're going to be uploading. This is where I'm at. Okay, that's what I need from you guys. Um, I'm uh, very excited about this project and I think you will be as well. Let me figure out how I can make this bigger. No, 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 no. Really? Okay. I'm gonna just go to my drive because I'm not gonna deal with it there. Because we're in art, and by golly, that's that's what we're doing. This is your project. I thought I had already edited it. And I'm gonna show you mine in a minute. I'm gonna turn the light on. There we are. Everything's a little slow. Everybody has this in there. Um, in there, uh, in your canvas under your first project. Okay, so this is called the U Starter Kit. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go about it in a. Let me read this to you first. So basically, what you're doing. Thanks for bearing with me because nothing ever works for me in the, in here. I don't like this. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's say somebody wants to be you. I mean, obviously, I would think lots of people would want to be me. Um, and I'm thinking lots of people would probably want to be you. Um, what do they need for that? Do they need to dress a certain way? <laughs> um, watch certain movies, listen or obsess over certain music on a sheet of paper, um, in your sketchbook, you know, something hopefully at least this size, eight and a half by 11, those of you that are at home, but I really would like for y'all to get a little bit bigger work. Um, those of you that are face to face, you know, I will give you canvas or, or or and same for you guys like if you have canvases at home you know this is where things become independent um so on some sort of surface how about i say that um you are going to draw objects logos words that illustrate all of your interests and parts of your personality you can overlap drawings in a doodle format you can shade your objects however you organize this however you present this it should completely look like you. Um, you're going to sketch these in pencil first, you know, you might go back in, you know, now this is where it becomes individualized. 
you might be way into doing digital art. I know I have a lot of students that, you know, have uh, drawing tablets and can just do um, uh, some serious, really good digital art. You might do yours this way. You might be at home and be really into watercolor. So hopefully you might can go get some watercolor paper or some brushes or watercolor pencils, um, canvas paintings. This is when it becomes up to your, where you're going. This is a very long project. I'm gonna show you mine. I haven't even started coloring mine in or painting mine in or whatever I'm gonna do with mine. Um, here's a little example in your, um, I don't like showing you too many examples. This was somebody's example. They did theirs. Um, yeah, Laura. Okay, um, this is somebody's example. They did theirs actually on um, like a tablet of some sort. And you can tell uh, they've got lots of things here. They've got, um, you know, their dogs, um, their favorite season. Um, uh, below deck is like a television show they like to watch. Uh, here's some like Birkenstock type things, places to travel. Um, anyway, this, you know, so you're basically making a poster of you. You should be able to look at this and be like, that's Jennifer. Um, I'm gonna turn my light on and show you uh, what I've been working on. And obviously you guys know me. Um, so it should be spot on to what you think. Also remember, I don't typically talk all day long, um, as y'all know. So, uh, so here's what I have going on. Let me get it closer to the Zoom. Um, here's what I have going on, and I'm going to back up and talk about it a little bit. Okay, so here I am. Um, I've got some headphones, like some old-timey, um, you know, those big old headphones here. Um, I've got, I love cacti. Um, as y'all know, most of y'all know, I lost Zoe last year and um, uh, I have Nola now. So I have my bulldog here. Uh, I have a blazer here because I'm always wearing a blazer. You guys know that. Um, there's a camera here. I'm trying to do some Polaroid pictures. Here's the earth. Um, I've got planes going around it, but I also have birds flying. Um, I'm really into these cowboy skulls. Um, here's some more planes, you know, because I like to travel. Um, and here I have some sunglasses and then I'm not, you know, obviously, but you can turn it this way also. I was trying to, initially I was trying to do something that worked both ways. See how like I, I was kind of trying to do it like I'm laying in the grass and this is my hair in the grass. And then this was going to be a road and you can see some eyelashes right here. I know it's hard to tell, but so those of you at home, you could really go get a sketchbook this size. They make sketchbooks this size or it's not even called a sketchbook. It's like a drawing pad big old drawing pad. Um, that would be great for you at home. You don't have to do it on paper. You can do it. Um, uh, some of you, uh, I, I don't, I can't say people's names, but I know some of you enjoy um, doing it on tablets and producing it digitally. And then we print it off that way. You might want to do this on a canvas. This would be amazing on a canvas or watercolor paper um, or all completely shaded. I'm coming back in with paint and markers and stuff. I think I haven't really figured that out. I got to think color schemes and stuff. So I just want you to be excited and be creative. And, and you know, I think the majority of you, when you look at this, would be like, oh, that's my son's. Um, and I need to be looking at yours like, oh, that's, you know, the following people on my list. This is your first project. Um, I'm going to stop today. I'm going to stop recording so I can post this um, because I want to give my face-to-face -face people some time to, uh, you know, talk about this. The Zoom will stay on. Um, so if you happen to be zooming in, you want to be like, Miss Sutton, I'm here. Um, uh, I can come to the uh, video. Sorry, I got I got sidetracked. I got all excited about this because this is what I care about. Um, and um, for all of y'all, and nobody's on on this, but I miss you all, and um, I'm excited to see my A and B people and my virtual people. I love you very much as well. I know all all of you, and I will um, personally email you and and chat with you, or you know, I'll get a hold of all of you. Don't you worry. Um, I will see y'all tomorrow. It's 